what is with the Pacers, man? What is with the Pacers? Why do they like beating the Warriors in Chase Center? What are the chances of any of this happening? It's like, <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, that's three straight. They are undefeated in Chase Center. They are undefeated in Chase. The, the Pacers have not lost a game in Chase Center yet. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's just always one random guy that just goes off versus the Warriors. And I think in, I don't even remember in 2020. I don't remember that season really. I, it was really just a blur. But 2021, I swear it was um, <clears throat> Aaron Holiday the first year. And then it was um, last season. It was, I don't even know what the guy's name is. I don't even remember what his name was. But I remember it was, and then Justin Holiday ties the game last year. And then this season, um, Andrew Neesmith, who hit a game winner versus Los Angeles, but he goes off for a 31 point triple double almost. 31, 13 assists, 8 rebounds. What? 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 I know Andrew Wiggins didn't play tonight, but you're not supposed to lose to this team. You're not supposed to let Andrew, and Andrew Neesmith, I don't even know what Neesmith, Nimit, I don't even know his name. Andrew N. You're not supposed to let him go off like he's who Russell 2017 Russell Westbrook you let him almost get a triple double he's not even playing like prime Chris Paul he was picking these guys apart like Andrew Wiggins is not come on I get he's a big key but you're not supposed to get picked apart like that that guy's career high was like 20 18 his career high was 18 before that before that game before this game his career high was 18 Dude out here, step back three over two people. Steph Curry, hand in his face. Oh, step back three. This is exactly what that guy did last year to the Warriors in overtime. I'm like, oh my gosh. It's just it's just money every time. The shot was just money every time. I'm like, wow. We're just throwing lobs. And Isaiah Jackson throws it down. This is like Chris Paul and um, prime DeAndre Jordan out there. I'm like, What? I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> it's insane. It's insane that the Pacers, they just pl play their absolute A game. A game versus the Warriors. A game. It's the A game. They have no C, D, F. It's just the A game every single time the Pacers play the Warriors. They just, every time, every time they play them, there's not one. Oh, my God. Yeah. What's up, guys? Um, Yeah, this is like a quick video break. I have, uh, I just wanted to say my bad, uh, content has been here. I was, uh, sick for a little bit, but I'm back now. Uploading every time the Warriors play. Might be a little extra stuff too, maybe, maybe. But yeah, I'm back now. But, oh my goodness, bro, the Pacers. The refs are just de destroying the Warriors the whole night, man. Afro fouls, fake discontinued dribbles. I'm like, Steph takes, does a hesitation, and they call it a double dribble on it. I'm like, wow. He did. You look at the replay. He didn't double dribble. That's literally the same move he does every single game. The refs are just out, out for him, man. They've got to be. They've got to be. That was one of the worst. They're just calling bad foul after bad foul. They're letting Andrew Neesmith do it, but they're not. But they think Steph's doing it. It's like. Then they're not giving the Warriors fouls. Literally, Lamb gets fouled on the dunk attempt to put him up three, and they don't call that. They will give that to anybody else in the universe. They would give like, oh, no, there's no way he missed that dunk. Foul. Like, no, but it's not a foul because why would he, why would, why in the heck would he just miss a dunk? It's like, oh, my gosh, bro, I'm so irritated. That was supposed to be 3-0 and on the homestand, man. And, of course, the Pacers break the 10-game winning streak. Wow. It's it's so annoying that, that teams like that just come in and they just, like, play their absolute best versus the Warriors. Like, what is the point? You're not going to... I don't even know, man. I don't even know. I don't even know. I am so annoyed. I'm so annoyed, man. So annoyed. Kaminga probably would have been the player of the game. This game had the Warriors won, but they didn't win. 
Clay probably would have been the second guy, but then I really hated that last shot that they had, and then he takes a contested one-leg fadeaway shot that really ended the game. The Warriors actually probably had a chance, but then he takes a contested fadeaway, and we lose, and we technically 100% chance the Pacers win. Oh my gosh. I just I just knew it was too good to be true. I was like, they're making a comeback. Then Draymond missed the layup. I was like, wow. You know, like, it is just... And then Nimhart comes down, either lob dunk, doing the, doing carrying the ball, and then throwing it up to uh um Isaiah Jackson, or he's taking a contested three over a defender. And then, oh my god! And then Buddy Hill struggling the whole game, shoots it, makes it over, makes a contested fading three over Draymond. I knew it wasn't the Warriors' night when that happened. I was like, wow. I'm like, wow. Wow, man. It's just just disgusting. I can't even believe it. That's the end of the video, man. Like, subscribe. <laughs> I know I haven't been making videos for a minute, but I had to rant, man. That was disgusting. That Not even from the Warriors. I know Steph had a bad night, but that was just disgusting in general. I can't believe that the, that the pace is... What? I'm done. All right, peace out. Like, subscribe, notifications. Peace out, man. That was horrible.